settle here. So as this is a dynamic class, we're going to be moving fairly swiftly through the postures, taking maybe a maximum of three breaths in each pose, just to keep you really present and focused and to continue to build that heat in the body as we move through our postures, through our sequence, our dynamic sequence. So as such, I'm still going to offer some options to those of you who want to take it down a notch um, in terms of your ability, or if you want to ramp it up a little bit, then there's always options for that. But just know that you can always come back to child's pose, coming onto your knees, sitting back, your bum on your heels, resting your forehead down on the ground. So for right now, allow yourself to sit up nice and tall. If you find when you sit that your knees come up quite high, then feel free to grab a block or a pile of books, pop it underneath your bum, and let come to the edge so you let your knees sit right down. Grow nice and tall, bring your hands, pop them onto your knees in this nice little shape. And let's start off taking a nice deep in-breath. And full out-breath through the nose. And breathe in deeply in through the nose. As you breathe out, suck your lower belly in. Deep breath in, start to lift the chest. As you exhale, draw the belly in, curve the crown, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, curl inwards. Inhale, lift. And we're going to continue that motion a little faster. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, round the shoulders. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Every exhale, contract the lower belly. Every inhale, lift the chest. And see if you can speed that up. Inhale, exhale. And then drop your chin to chest, tuck your belly in, extend the arms forwards. And then lifting the arms all the way up. Start to lean over to your right side, taking your right ear to your right shoulder, leaning over here. Keep both sit bones attached to the floor. Take the left arm back a little bit as you turn your torso. Inhale all the way back up. As you exhale, lean over to the left, left ear. Let your left ear rest on your arm as you lean to the side. And then lift the right ribcage up a little bit more. You lean over, notice which side feels differently. Inhale back to center. Take the arms all the way out. Turn the palms behind you. Start to squeeze your hands together. And then inhale, lift the arms all the way up to the sky. Bend the elbows, bring your hands onto your shoulders. Squeeze the elbows into your ears. Draw in the lower rib cage as though there are gates that you want to close. Engage low belly, lift the chest a little bit higher, squeeze the elbows. And then release, take the hands all the way behind you, palms face upwards and lifting the arms. Try not to lean forward so you're staying quite upright, but just lifting through the arms. So from the side, kind of like this. Lifting up, squeeze the arms together, lifting up for that fiery feeling in the triceps as we wake up those muscles. And release, remove your block from underneath you. If you're sitting on a block, lift the arms up, and then start to tilt forwards. Drop your head looking down towards your feet, and then allow your hands to come down, take a forward fold. Drop your head from side to side, and then come forwards. Make your way onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, Rock your hips from side to side. And now hover your knees off the ground and extend the right leg all the way out. You have the option to drop the left knee to the floor if it becomes too much. Otherwise, keep hovering.
hovering that left knee off the ground, tuck the tailbone under and push away as much as you can from the floor. Inhale that right knee into your chest, exhale to extend the right leg out. Inhale the right knee into your chest, exhale the right leg out. Inhale the right knee into the chest, exhale the right leg out. Let's add a little extra spice by extending the right forearm, the right arm. And sorry, extending the left arm. Yeah. Inhale the right knee into the chest, exhale the right leg out. Inhale the right knee into the chest, exhale the right leg out. Now let's see if you can straighten the left leg and lift the right leg up, looking back at your left foot. Good. Take the left hand to your left hip and extend the right leg out. Bring the right knee into your chest. Turn over to the side, dropping the left heel to the side and extend the right leg out. Lift the left arm all the way up. Good. Bend the right knee into the chest. Place the left hand down. Step the right foot forwards to your right hand. Drop the back knee. Lift the arms up and sink into low lunge. As you inhale, squeeze your left foot and your, your left knee and your right foot towards one another. Squeezing inwards, drawing your belly. Lift the arms up. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And really sink all the way in. Bring your hands to the ground. Sweep your right leg back. Lift it up to the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip. Then step the right foot forward, two through to the right hand, drop the back knee and make your way through, rocking around in this space. You're going to tuck the left toes under, take the right arm all the way up and maybe hold the left arm up off the ground as you turn. Good, bring the hands down to the ground, step back onto hands and knees, drop your knees, point your toes, elbows to the body as you come down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sink back into child. Inhale, come forwards again, tuck the toes under. Once again, hovering the knees. Now extend the left leg out behind you. Inhale, draw the left knee in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, draw the left knee over in. Exhale to extend. Inhale, draw the left knee. Exhale, extending. Now again, we straighten out the right arm. Then we're going to draw the left knee in. Right elbow. Inhale, extend. Woo. Exhale, draw in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend. Now straighten out that right leg. Keep the right arm up if you can. And extend the left leg out. Then come forward. Bring the left knee into your chest. And extend the left leg out to the side. Then squeeze the left inner thigh in. And then bring the right hand to the ground. Extend the left leg all the way up. Send the left foot through to the left hand. Drop the back knee, lift the arms up. And squeeze the left foot back towards the right knee. Good. Squeezing in here. Hold for five. Hold for four. Really to actively squeeze your right knee towards your left foot. And your left foot back. Hold for two. And one. And release. Sinking all the way down. Bring your hands to the ground. And shoot the left leg up to the side. And then set the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand. Start to move, rocking around in the hips. Moving first in one direction. And then in the other. Good. Now tuck the back toes under. Lift the left arm all the way up as you take your easy twist. Maybe you hover that right hand off the ground. To continue to turn. And then place your hands down to the ground. Step back into your high plank, drop your knees, point your toes, come all the way down. Lift your heart as you inhale, squeeze the glutes. As you exhale, move back into down facing dog. Pedal the knees, bend the one after the other. Start to tiptoe your feet forwards to the front of the mat. You're going to kick the left toes towards the left wrist, right toes towards the right wrist. Left toes to left wrist, right toes to right wrist, left toes to left wrist. Left toes to left wrist. Right toes to right, left to left, right to right, left to left, right to right, and release. Allow your body to sink. Hold it here. Good. Soften bend the knees. Lift the chest halfway. Inhale. 
Exhale to fold. We're going to continue with that Ujjayi breathing, breathing in through the nostrils, and drawing a little bit more oxygen into the body as we do so. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, we step back into our high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, come all the way down, hold the down, drop your knees if you need to. Inhale, we lift up into our up dog. Make sure you're squeezing your thighs off the mat. Exhale back into down facing dogs. Lift the right leg up to the sky and inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot forward to your right hand, rising to high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the left knee into your chest, extend the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, step all the way back. Bring your hands down to the ground. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, rise into your up dog. Exhale, back into your downward facing. Inhale, the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, your left foot forward to your left hand. Inhale, to rise up into your high lunge. As you exhale, bring the right knee forward and extend the right foot out. Inhale, bring the right knee back. Step back into your high lunge. Exhale, your hands down to the ground. Come all the way down. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, three breaths. Exhale. Inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhale, sink your hips. Inhale to rise. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the front of the mat. Take three bunny hops, kicking yourself in the butt as you go. Or you can come into your tough handstand if you have that available to you. So for one, two, and three, come to land at the front of the mat. Take a halfway lift, and we exhale to fold. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back to move through vinyasa. Inhale, we lift our hearts. Exhale, we move back through down dog. Inhale, that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, the right foot forward to the right hand. Rise into high lunge. Inhale, exhale, left knee to your chest and extend. Inhale, bring the left knee in. Send it out behind you into your warrior. Three. Good. Bend the right knee, step back. Sink into warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior, lift up onto the front heel, sink a little more deeply, and then drop the heel, spin your hands to earth, sweep back, move through vinyasa. Lift your heart, exhale back into down dog. Left side, left leg rises on your inhale, follow your breath. As you exhale, plant your left foot to your left thumb. Rise to high lunge, inhale. Exhale, right knee comes into your chest, and it's it. Inhale, the right knee back into your chest, Exhale, through into your warrior three. Bend the standing knees, sink back into your warrior two. Flip your palm, reach, reverse warrior. Lift up onto the tiptoes of the front foot as you lean back. Then drop the heel, wiggle your hands all the way down to the ground. Set the left leg back and come down. Inhale, we lift our hearts. Exhale, back into downward facing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale deeply, lift up onto your toes. Exhale, see if the heels come down a little bit more. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink. Inhale, lift up onto the toes. Look to the front of the mat. See if you can jump into a low squat. Come into land, into your squat, and then jump back into a plank. Back into your down dog. Lift up onto the toes, bend the knees, jump forward to squat. Landing quietly, and then back into a plank. Then your knees sink back, and forwards into squat. Bring your hands into your heart, lift your chest. Here, place your hands to the ground. Knees into your armpits, lean forward, lifting the feet off the ground, coming into your front pose. If you're not quite ready to fly, lean forward. Pick one foot up at a time. Make sure your elbows are directly over your knees. Good. From here, land the toes. Stay on your tiptoes. You can bring your knees together. Lift your bottom off your heels. Hands into your heart. Holding for three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to the ground. Drop the heels. Take a forward fold. Inhale. Your halfway lift. Exhale. Step or jump back. Go through vinyasa. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale. We move back into downward facing. Inhale that right leg up to the sky. Exhale the right foot forward to your right hand. Rise into your high lunge. Inhale. And then sweep the left knee into your chest. Take the left leg forwards. 
Keep the left leg straight as you can. As you send the left leg back. Option to keep the arms straight in front of you or to fly them out behind you. Your choice. Good. Start to take the right hand down towards your right ankle. Left arm up or onto the floor or onto a block coming into your half moon. Hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. Bend the right knee. Step back into your reverse warrior. Beam all the way back. Lift up onto the right toes as you sing. Good. Straighten the right knee. As you lean back, flex the right foot. Good. Drop the right toes. Come to reach the right arm forwards. Take the left arm up. Take the right ear towards your right arm and reach forward. Hold it here. If it's too much, do by all means bring your hands down onto a block or onto the leg. Otherwise, extend the hair. Hold for three, two, and one. Come all the way back up. Bend into the front knee. Place your hand onto your thigh. Sweep the left arm overhead. Good. From here, either stay right here or you reach your right hand back towards your left inner thigh. So reaching here, sink a little deeper, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one. Good, lift the arms up, lean forward, three breaths, belly just above the thigh, two breaths, and one. Bring your hands down to the ground and raise that left leg up and bow over that front leg extending split. And then bend the right knee, step all the way back and move through vinyasa. Inhaling, lift our heart. Exhale back into our down dog. Lift the left leg up to the sky. And then bring the left foot forward to the left hand. Rise, stand into your high lunge. Bring that right knee into your chest. Good, and then extend the right leg. Keep the right leg as straight as you can as you come towards our warrior three. Good. Activate that right glute. Turn it on. Maybe point the toe. Good. Start to take the left hand down to the ground or to your ankle or to a block as you open the right arm up. Good. Maybe your fingertips are on the ground. Maybe it's three fingers, two. Maybe it's just the middle fingers on the ground. Maybe you're just hovering. And then from here, we step all the way back into our reverse warrior, lift the heel, sinking down. And then from here, straighten that front knee, keep reaching that left arm back, flex the front foot to lean back, and then drop the left toes. Come to reach the left arm forward, take the right arm up to the ceiling, drop your ear to your arm. Reaching forward, turn on the right glute, press the left hip forward. Option is there again to bring your left hand down to the inside of your thigh. Otherwise, you hold it here for three, two, one. Come all the way back up. Bend into the front knee. Place your left forearm to your thigh. Reach your right arm overhead so that it's covering your ear. Really feel dynamically that like extension. And then extend your left fingertips towards your right inner thigh. Turn your chest towards the sky. Come all the way up, turn the back heel, and then reach forward, draw the belly in as you reach forward, looking down at that front foot. Again, so just the toes of the back foot, just right on the ground. Place your hands to the ground, lift the right leg all the way up and back. Standing slip. Bend the left knee, come and find your chair pose. Lift the arms up, bring your hands into your heart, inhale. As you exhale, draw in the lower belly. Swivel to take your left elbow over the right knee. Create space between belly and thighs if you can. And look over your right shoulder. If it's not comfortable for your neck, by all means, look down to the ground. Start to pour your weight into the right foot. Look to the right corner of your mat and pull the left heel towards your bum. And from here, extend the left leg out but keep the toes off the mat. Lift the left leg up nice and high. Bend the right knee as much as you can. And then come back. Find your twisted chair. Lift the arms up once again. As you exhale, suck in the low belly. Turn right elbow over left knee. And twist. Good. Again, look over your left shoulder. As you turn, maybe 
See if you can wriggle that right arm down a little bit more over the knee. Good. Look down towards the left front corner of your mat. Lean forward and draw the right heel in towards your bum. From here we start to maybe extend all the way up. Keep your twist. Lift that right leg up nice and high. And come back to find your chair pose. Lift the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Stay here. Step back or jump back into your, into your vinyasa or go to it through your crow pose. And lift your heart. Exhale back into down dog. Lift the right leg up to the sky. Bring the right knee forward into your chest. Inhale, suck it in a little bit more. Exhale, hold a little bit further. Inhale, right knee hovers to the ground. Exhale, draw the belly in, suck the knee into the chest. Inhale, right knee hovers to the ground. Exhale, suck the knee to the chest. Inhale, right knee to the ground. Inhale, hovers to the chest. Bring the right knee forward to your right elbow. Bend one elbow, stay here, or you can lift the left leg up, coming into flight. Release. Step all the way back. Right leg sweeps up to the side. Bring the right knee over to your left elbow. Extend the right leg out to the side. Drop your left foot down and lift the left arm up. Lean back. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> lift the hips, lift the heart. And come to sit all the way down. Open the legs, have the toes flex, open your arms as you lean forward. See if you can make sure that there's a tilt in the pelvis going on. So you're sticking your booty out, arms are wide, chest comes forward, coming forward to hold here. Good. Come back, turn to face the right leg, and then lift the right leg up. Circle the ankle one way, circle it another, and then place the foot down. Turn to face the left leg, lift the left leg up, circle it in one direction, and then in the other. Lift the right arm all the way behind you to the right corner of your mat, lift your left arm up, lift back up into your fallen triangle, and lift the right leg all the way up. Bend the right knee, take the left hand to the ground, and transition into your side plank. You have the option to drop the bottom knee if you need to, and to come onto the forearm, additionally, if you need to. Otherwise, staying here, lifting that right knee up nice and high, maybe extending the right leg, and then bend the knee into the chest, hand, grab a hold of it with your right hand, come forwards into your lunge, rise all the way up, inhale. As you exhale, come into warrior three, and then take your left hand around towards the ground, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Good. Bend the right knee, take the left knee behind it, come to sink all the way down and take your left elbow, you can see me, take your left elbow over the knee. Then turn to the behind you. Good. Good. Come back to center, take a deep rotation. Good. And you have different options to come back into the opposite side. So option one, you simply unravel the legs and spin it to the opposite side. Option two, you lift the bum up, hands to the ground, you get down, and you're gonna come into your headstand. Come in with cross leg, and then recross the legs up in the sky. Bring yourself down nice and slow. Come in to sit, taking your right elbow over the left knee, as you twist to the opposite side. Good. Come to take a turn. Turn to your right to derotate. Good. And then make sure your left foot is now facing forward and your right heel is behind you. Lift your bottom up. Good. Now pick up the right knee and the right heel. Take your right hand down as you extend the right leg out. Lift your left arm up to come into your Revolved half moon was on the opposite side. Good. Now lift the fingers up. Travel back through your warrior three. Bend the standing knee. Back into your high lunge. Good. Then place your hands to the ground. Step back with the left leg up to the sky. 
Inhale, as you exhale, draw the left knee into your chest. Inhale, hover the left knee. Exhale, suck the knee all the way in. Inhale, hover the left knee. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, hover the knee. Exhale, draw it all the way in and come forward, plate bring your left knee over your left elbow, above the left elbow. Bend the elbow, stay here or engage the back leg to take flight. Good, land the right toes, come back, drop onto the right heel, lift the right arm up and extend that left leg out. Drop the left heel down, lifting up, coming into your fallen triangle on the opposite side. Good, come into sit. Again, turn towards the right leg, lift the right leg up. Good, and make a big wide circle with that right leg. First in one direction, try to keep the chest straight, avoid slumping. Might mean that you stay very low, which is perfectly fine. Take the circles in the opposite direction, and then switch to the left leg. Lifting the left leg up, making those big wide circles. First in one direction, and then the other. Good. And again, lift the arms up. Going to lean forward, tilting forwards as far as you can. And then come all the way up. Good. Turn to place the left hand on the ground behind you. Lift the right arm up. Lift the hips from here. Lift the left leg up. Squeeze. And then come back into your three-legged down dog. Come forwards into high plank and in slow motion. Start to come all the way down to the floor. Good. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Head down. And then lift, hover the hands off the ground. Squeeze the elbows towards one another. Squeeze your glutes. Lift the shoulders up, squeezing the low back, squeeze, then lift the legs up, take the arms behind you, maybe cast the hands coming into your locust pose. Hold the three, two, and one, release. Rock your hips from side to side. Good, it's bend the left knee, extend the right arm in front of you, take hold of the left foot with your left hand. Lift the right arm up, lift the right leg up. In fact, lift everything up. <laughs> You're balancing right now on your hip bones. Lifting, squeezing, rising up as high as you can. And come down. Rock both legs from side to side. And then change sides, holding onto the right ankle, extending the left arm forwards. And then lift the left arm up, lift the left leg up, lift the right leg up. Lifting for three, two, one, come all the way down. Extend the arms, rock from side to side. Release, hands underneath your shoulders, sink back into child's pose. Come to sit up, drop your hips over to the right, lift the arms up, and lean over to the left. Come back up, drop the hips to the left, hold the left wrist as you lead over to the right. Let's take that two more times. Lift the hips over to the right, pull your right arm over to the left. Lifting up, switch the grip of your wrists. Hips to the left, and then hips to the right, and hips to the left. And come all the way up. Then we're going to take one camel pose. Bring your hands into your lower back. We're going to lift your chest. Squeeze the elbows together. And you can stay here, holding onto the lower back. And this feels like a safe place to be. Because we want to keep the, sh the hips on top of the knees. If you find that your knees are going back here and you want to hold onto the feet, then rather protect your lower back. So lift and squeeze the elbows together, lift, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes to protect the lower back. If you feel okay about it, you can bring your hands to your heels. And then come all the way back. Come to sit, drop your hips over to the side, extend the legs in front of you. Come forwards. Bring the feet together, knees apart, and then take a forward fold. Imagine bringing your belly button towards your heels. And 
then release completely. Just relax, let yourself go floppy. Come back. Good. Your feet come out. And feel like you've really run out this dish cloth. We're going to roll all the way, all the way, all the way down. Come all the way down to the mat. Good. Bring the knees in. And just rock them around in a big circle. First in one direction. And then in the other. Rolling around. Cross the right knee over the left. Good, and then drop the knees over to the right. Good, come back to center. Unravel your legs. Cross the left knee over the right and draw all the way over. Good, come back to center. Good, come back to center. Bring the knees in. And then release one leg down at a time into Shavasana. Let your fingers be soft. Let the lower back just release into the floor. Shoulders, hips, eyebrows soften. Flatten the spine into the ground. Hug the knees into the chest. Good. Extend the legs up to the sky. Open the legs nice and wide. Good. And then lifting up, take your hands through, clasp the hands, point the index finger. And lift the chest and see if you can lift your hips up and then lower. Lift the hips up. And then lower, lift the hips up, and lower, lift the hips up, and lower. Keep the shoulders off the ground as you start to join the legs towards the edge of your mat. Keep the legs off the ground. Good. Lift the hips up a little bit more, and then release the hands. We can stay here in this low boat shape, or if you wish, you can extend your arms up overhead. If you want a little extra spice, we're going to take 10 rocks. Rocking up and down 10 times. That's eight, seven, or hands to the side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up into your boat. Lift the arms up of the three, two, extend the legs if you want to, and the one. Go across the ankles, come forwards, step back into your downward facing up. Uh, come forwards into high plank, drop the forearms to the ground, uh, and hold it here, squeezing the glutes, pushing away from the ground through the shoulders. Good. And release the knees to the floor, point the toes, start to come down, lift the chest, stand the chest forwards. And then release, come all the way down. Bend both knees and come to catch both feet behind you, lifting up into your bow pose. And lifting up. Three, two, and one. And then come down. Drop your head to the mat, rock your hips from side to side. Bring your forearms to the ground, tuck your toes under, and walk your feet all the way forwards. Lifting up and down through your toes, dropping your heels, 
Uh, lift the left leg up and take a few little hops here. If you choose to come all the way into your inversion, go ahead, but keep the legs apart. Coming into your split or maybe into stag legs. If you're not yet there with the balance, keep lifting up and down through the toes. And then from here, bring both feet down, look towards the hands as you hover the elbows off the ground. Squeeze the elbows towards one another in your turbo dog. Holding here for three, look towards your feet. Hold for two, hold for one. Drop the knees down, sink back, lift the arms all the way up. Inhale, open the arms, big wide circle. Clasp your hands behind you, lift the arms up. And exhale, come forward once again into your hands and knees. Extend the arms now, come into puppy pose. Dropping the chest down. Feel free to bring your forehead down if your chin doesn't naturally come down. It's kind of big shoulder open. Otherwise, let the chest sink. Good. From here, we lift up. Come forwards again into your sphinx pose. And then bring your head down to the ground. Come back up onto your shoulder, into your forearm plank. And this time again, walking the feet forward, you take the opposite side. So when we lift the left leg up, this time we lift the right leg up, lifting up and down through the heel, exploring the flexibility in this posture, squeezing the elbows towards one another. If you want to go for your full inversion, take a few little hops maybe, and find some air time. Maybe just a couple little hops, you can bend that top knee to find some space as you come down. Good. And when you're ready, coming back down, look towards your hands, hover the elbows off the ground, squeeze the elbows towards each other, take your gaze to the feet, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one, extend the arms long, good, bend the knees, come back and sit again, lift the arms all the way up, Let's take those rocks once again, take the arms over to the right, Drop your hips over to the left. This time we're not holding the arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop the hips over to the right. Leaning over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale to rise. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, back up. Come forwards all the way, all the way down. See if you can do this as low as you can before your hands touch the ground. Slow motion. And, and hold. Stay here for three breaths, two breaths, and one. Then extend your left leg out behind you in your half child's pose. Good. Tuck your toes under, lift the arms up. Holding three, holding two, holding one. Bring your hands flat, bring your left knee in, and extend the right leg out. Tuck the toes under. Yeah, and lifting the arms up, holding three. Holding two, holding one, and release. Come all the way back into your child's pose, and we're rocking here from side to side. Good, lift the gaze, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, look back. Inhale, arch the back, look forwards. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, come back into your downward facing dog. Let's move forward, take one last vinyasa, coming down into your low plank, inhale into your up dog, exhale back into your low plank, just because it's the last one, inhale back into your up dog, exhale back into your downward facing dog. Sweep your right leg up to the sky, bring your right knee forward to your right wrist, drop your right foot down behind your left wrist and slide into your pigeon. Come to bring your hand, left hand to your left, to your right foot, right hand to your right knee, left toes are tucked under, straighten the left knee, and see if you can lift the right hip up off the ground. Good, maybe from here you bring your left hand into your heart, maybe your right hand also, maybe both arms up as you hold for three, good, two, lift a little higher, one, slowly, 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 make your way all the way down. Your hands rest. Extending them out as far as you can. And then your hands underneath your shoulders, lifting up. Bend the left knee, reach back. 
had to hold on to that left foot and draw the left heel towards your bottom. If you wish, you can plus pop that left foot into your left elbow and reach back with the right hand, coming into your mermaid shape. And then release, sweep the left leg forwards, take a bow, and then come forwards, extend the right leg out to the back, tuck the right toes under, bring the right hand to your right, left foot, left hand to your left thigh, lift up, try to notice if your hip is lifted and rolling out to your lead, really leading on your left side, if that's the case, then grab your trusty block, and pop it underneath that thigh and you really want to roll your right hip forwards. Good. From here we rise, maybe staying here, maybe we bring one hand into the chest, maybe both. Maybe we rise all the way up for three breaths, for two and one, and then come all the way down to the ground. Keep the block here underneath your hip. If you tend to find that you kind of roll over and lie on the side, you can keep the block under your hip if you don't need it, do away with it. As you settle down, taking, turning the right hip forwards, come all the way down, belly towards your thigh. You can bring your hands under your shoulders, lifting up, bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand to hold onto that foot and draw the heel towards your bum. Well, that sweet release, hopefully it's sweet, release of the quadricep and the hip flexor. Again, you can tuck that toe into the, into the elbow, reach back with the top hand to hold the hands. Make sure to turn on the glutes, protect your lower back. And release, come back to center. Again, bring your feet together, but this time we're gonna settle the hips back a little bit so there's some distance. You're making this diamond shape in between the legs. Palms face up and just forward fold here. Allow the crown of your head to go towards that arm shape in your feet. And now. And come up. And come back into your final shavasana. Come to roll all the way down. Palms face up. Ankles to either side of your mat. And just completely allow your body to sink into the floor. This is a place of healing. This is a place of recovery. This is a place where we are absorbing everything that we've done, all the physical energy that we've moved around, all the non-physical energy that we've moved around. Maybe you might feel a tingling in the body. Just let your breath soften. that you grow heavier and heavier into the ground. Release your shoulders. Separate your teeth. Relax the jaw. Let the feel like your toes are all fluffy.
Take a moment wherever you are, and, and in fact, you know, if you want to stay for a really long, sweet Shavasana, stay even longer when you're at home, not in a yoga studio that anyone's going to kick you out of. And if not, you're ready to come back to the real world, just sit up. And just allowing yourself to settle into your inner space. It's such a magical sensation and such a personal experience. Bring your hands over your heart. Give yourself thanks for being here. Honor for looking after yourself. Challenging yourself. For exploring. For accepting and for forgiving.